and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Almighty and everlasting God, who presides over all things in heaven and earth, come and preside over these deliberations, so that those that make the decisions may be guided by your wisdom. Thank you, sir. Roll call. Mr. Belushko. Here. Mrs. McClay. Here. Mr. Mirren. Here. Mr. Brooks. Here. Mr. Barrett. Here. Also in attendance is Mayor George Brown, <coughs> Controller Tony Thomas, Administrator Charles McCormick, Assistant City Clerk Tracy Smith, Administrative Assistant Lisa Sanfilippo. Good evening. Welcome to tonight's regular session of Council. Please turn off all cell phones. The following are examples of some important rule, council rules. They are not intended to be a complete list. Please adhere as closely as possible to the five-minute speaker presentation time limit. No persons are allowed to address the council from beyond the rail, except the speaker at the dais who has the floor. The chairperson shall preserve order and decorum and prevent attacks on personalities. The chairperson shall determine all points of order. No person except city officers or their representatives shall be permitted within the rail during any meeting without the express permission of council. Council kindly asks that the public please vacate the building within 10 minutes after the meeting adjourns. And finally, when members of the administration are speaking, please stand up and speak into the microphone. Okay. Any public discussion on pending legislation? Mr. Troy, go right in. Good evening. Sam Troy. I just wanted to address, brought the wrong glasses. <laughs> uh, the uh, second uh, resolution here regarding the uh, sewer repair, is it, I guess? Remediation repair project. Uh, again, uh, the details seem to be lacking, uh, some details anyway. Uh, I understand that the uh, bidding has not been put out, correct? Uh, so my question is, this, since Wilkes, uh, I heard uh, the mayor uh, speak the other night regarding the, uh, the f fact that Wilkes is going to contribute uh, to this, at least 50%, I think it was, of the 90,000. Uh, I guess this, is it safe to say that this uh, project connects to, it, it, I, I thought it was a, See, it doesn't tell you on here, and I didn't come the other night. I don't know if that makes a difference. But uh, that somehow connects into Ralston Field, I guess. Is that it? That, that, that's why it concerns Wilkes. Uh, it says Kirby Park, so I guess that uh, ties in with, uh, with Ralston Field, I guess, or something that Wilkes owns over there. Um, so that, that should be uh, explained to the public. Uh, that, that should be something that's transparent. And, and also, uh, I, I just want to speak against that. Uh, I, I'm not speaking against the project per se. I mean, I'm sure it needs remediation. You know, if they have a sewer problem, it's got to be repaired. But from what I understand, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Ms. Payne uh, uh, filled me in with a few details. And uh, I, I, I was under the impression that 50% uh, or 60% are going to be paid for by Wilkes. Well, to me, that's not good enough. It seems to me that uh, the city there's a good word for you, Mayor, panders. I don't know if, if that's a correct word to use, but uh, being an English major, I have to make sure that I'm using the right word, but I think that would be a, uh, appropriate. <clears throat> the city panders to Wolves and Kings excessively, and I think this is another example here that, um, <clears throat> you know, if they're gonna, if, if they wanna, uh, where is this money, let's say the city has to pay once the bidding, once this is put out for bid, and, and, we, and the city gets uh, somebody who's uh, the lowest bidder, uh, where is the money, from what fund is this, is this going to come out? Uh, is this going to come out of? If it's just a general fund, it should, it should be if there is such, and this is, might be a good time to explain this, uh, Mayor. Uh, if this does go through and the city does have to pay 50% for it, it should come out of the city's sewer fund, if there is a sewer fund. I don't think there is. I think that all that money that we pay for the sewer fee and the money that the city gets back from the rain tax from the WVSA, uh, which I know can be used, uh, for my, again, to, according to my impression, for sewer projects. Uh, it should be come out of one of those, uh, unless they're all tied together, the sewer fund, if there is a sewer fund, and this money that is accumulated from, uh, I'm not going to say kickbacks, but <laughs> money given back to the city from the sewer fee. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I object to any, any subsidization, that's a good word, 
subsidization of, of Wilkes, further subsidization. I mean, my God, what, to what extent do we have to, to, does the city have to pander to Wilkes and Kings to the point where enough is enough? Okay, all right, so you might say, oh, it's only $50,000 or $40,000. Well, that's, there, there's a lot of money to me, Mayor, and, and you people here who are going to vote on this. I would like, and I, my time is already running out. See, there's not enough time allotted here, uh, Mr. Chairman, for, for some. Uh, I know. But uh, I, I think, especially the two new people on council, uh, and as well as the three uh, veterans, ought to s explain for a critical vote. So I think it's a critical vote. Uh, like this, why they are going to vote for it, which I'm sure they are. I, I mean, I assume they are. I guess, um, you know, uh, I mean, do you think, t from what I, I mean, I think that the, the purpose of a, of a meeting like this and for people to air their thoughts is for you five to try to deliberate and see whether our comments have any, any uh, relevance. You know, is what I'm saying, if it's not worth anything, then tell me. You know, but uh, if it's worth something, if, if we if we have subsidized Wilkes to a tremendous to a, a over over amount to, to too much to an excessive amount, let's say, uh, where does it stop? Uh, you know, they they uh, contribute very little to the city's budget. What is it? Hundred thousand dollars as a pilot payment in lieu of taxes is very small. Same thing with Kings. They go about they indulge in these projects. Um, and uh, cut down old trees and, and uh, you know, the uh, streetscape projects, uh, at, you know, at their whim. And the city tolerates that. Um, so I, I think there's a time when we have to draw a limit. So if they want this sort of project, that's fine. Let them pay for it. And I would like, if, if there's, a, you know, some sort of reaction on anybody's part here to, before they vote on it, I, I think that's appropriate. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor. Sam, a uh, couple things. I invite you to come to the Tuesday work sessions where we talk about everything you're asked for. You come here on Thursdays and you ask for information that we've already gone over at the Tuesday work session. Your numbers are not correct, first of all. Uh, the $90,000, Wilkes is paying $60,000 of that $90,000. $60,000, not 50%. $60,000. They're also paying 75% of the yearly sewer bill that we're going to get for Kirby Park. So 75% of the yearly bill that we're getting. So that's what Wilkes has uh, agreed to do. Okay. It will be also be utilized for any other parts of Kirby Park that may be utilizing that sewer, meaning uh, the new bathroom facility that we're building over there will be tied into that. The, the tennis courts that are being utilized are tied into that. The other bathroom facilities all tied into that. And yes, and then Wilkes University is tied into it. So once again, $60,000 of the $90,000 fee. I'm sorry, you heard $60,000 is, is going to be paid for by Wilkes? Excuse me, I don't think we can do back and forth, Sam. Uh, you, you have your five minutes. Sorry, I'm, you you, you had your, I'm trying to answer your, what you had asked, okay? Um, Yes, it's coming out of the general fund budget. There's a line item for Kirby Park. So that's how that's being paid. Our part of that is being paid through that fund, that line item, okay? Um, Wilkes has done a lot of good things for the city. You're negative, Sam. Every single item that we brought before council, you're negative about. I don't know if someone's feeding you negativity and telling you negative things, because a lot of times what you bring up is not correct. I'd ask you to do a little research and then find out for yourself, but someone is telling you things that are not correct, and I ask you, please, you're a smart man, evaluate for yourself before you listen to other people, but every single item that we put up, you're negative about, and I don't know why you're negative about it, okay? So I'm just telling you this is a positive thing. Wilkes has jumped on this and said, Mayor, we're gonna pay the, the, the the major portion of the cost, not only of this new system, but also of the yearly fee. So they've done a lot of good things for the city of Wilkes-Barre, and they've contributed. So uh, once again, that negativity that you're talking about Wilkes and other schools, I don't think it, it's found. So I hope I cleared it up for you, Sam. But please, come to the Tuesday day, the Tuesday <coughs> meetings. 
We, we go through all this information. Council asks me, every time I put an item on my agenda, council asks me specific questions about those items. And that information is brought out in the Tuesday meetings. Could I respond to that? No. Thank you, Mayor. Council? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bill. Mr. Coder's on the agenda here, too. You want to come up and introduce yourself? <laughs> I can see how prepared you are. I'm not just away from the audience. Uh, uh, good evening, I'm Vaughn Coder, and uh, I live at 73 West Ross Street in Wilkesbury City. And uh, I am honored that uh, Mayor Brown has asked me to serve another term on the Housing Authority. This will be my second term. Uh, we just had our elections. Uh, in the past, I served as the treasurer on the board, and now uh, I was nominated and voted in favor for vice chair. Uh, I think we're doing a lot of great things at the Housing Authority. I'd like to continue to uh, stay in that spot, see some projects through, especially the uh, installation of the sprinkler system, as well as some other capital campaigns that we are doing. So again, with uh, your approval and uh, with the uh, backing of the mayor, I look forward to serving another term. And if you have any questions, uh, I'd be more than glad to address them. Thank you for all. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Thank yeah. you. For thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you also. Your commitment to the city is excellent, and for restoring a house, saving a house, <laughs> that's good in my book. So thank you. Thank you for everything you do for Wilkesbury. Appreciate it. Thank you, Vaughn. Okay. Kathy. Okay. So we have the consent agenda, which is the three resolutions and the minutes. We need a motion and a second. A motion. Second. Mr. Belushko. Second by Mr. Brooks. Mr. Belushko. Yes. Mr. McClay. Yes. Mr. Merritt. Yes. Mr. Brooks. Yes. Mr. Barrett. Yes. Okay. Presentations. Okay. Mr. Belushko. Nothing since Tuesday. Nothing Trump since Tuesday. Trump is okay, right? uh, Mr. Clay. So um, I did speak with Bill Harris today, and the Lion Brewery, the parking lot, is zoned correctly. They just need to file an application. So there is no variance needed. So there's not much we can do on that part. Thank you for checking. You're welcome. Thank you. Anything else? I'm good. Mr. Mirren? Oh, I have nothing since Tuesday. Uh, Mr. Brooks? Um, you know how something will happen to me on the way here, and then I'll talk about it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Last time it was about trash. This time it's about uh, driving habits. So on the way here on Ross Street at South Main Street, a person, I'm at the light, person just goes right in the other lane, right through the light, past the, the fire station like there was no light, no nothing. I mean, that guy could have got slammed. And then I have been noticing over the last decade or so that a lot of people's driving is absolutely atrocious. I don't know, and, and this is probably a product of me getting old. <laughs> too fast, too close. Um, going down a one-way street the wrong way. Uh, I see this constantly. I, I don't know really what the answer is, other than obviously we know we can't have a cop everywhere, but it, it, there's just something. I don't know what it is, but people drive terribly, terribly. And I'm an old man, so <laughs> that's number one. Number two, um, Stan and Jess, you don't know yet, but your your City Hall email box will get inundated by vendors selling us stuff all the time. So if you need a pothole machine for your house, you know where to buy one. <laughs> um, but today I saw something I never really mentioned them. I always always actually delete them all because they're for purchasing <laughs> for the administration. But one did come by today that I thought was really interesting that we perhaps really should look into, which is a mass residence notification system where a person would give their text you know, number over to us, and then that we could have a mass notification system to let people know if the school, well not the schools are closed, but traffic things, um, any kind of construction work that is done, amber alerts, all different kind of things that could be done in it, weather alerts, I'm looking at the different things that you can do. You can even send text messages to Sam Troy to let them know the meeting is on Tuesday. Um, event information, um, all kinds of things. So I'm sure you got the same email, Charlie and George, but I'll, I'll give you this. If there's something you want to look into, I think it might be good for the citizens. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Mr. Thomas. Anything for us this evening? Nothing this evening. All right, didn't forget about it. <laughs> um, one or two little things. 
Last week, somebody knocked over the traffic light at George Avenue and Washington Street, took the pole out, and I can't believe how quickly we've been able to respond to those temporary stop signs. And they're still working on it as I came down tonight, getting it up in place, including it looks like new signals and new everything. So it's not an easy job, and so I appreciate the quick response on that. Thank you very much because it's, it's a little bit of a hectic intersection there at times. Uh, the lower end of Bowman Street, right south end of it, there's dead end little part there. There's a little bit of a drainage issue. I think we mentioned it once before. It appears as though the storm drains are higher than the roadway. And it builds up to about a foot of water during heavy rain. The last few days there's been water there and then it freezes. I hope we could have somebody take a look at that and see if there's something that, if there, and I know there's never an easy fix when it comes to that type of thing, but there are drains there, but they appear to be higher than the road itself. I'm not an engineer, but maybe somebody could just take a look at it. That's at the very end, behind the old 112 Tavern, if you're familiar with that. Little parking area back in there, and there's some garages there too that people use and get ponds in there. And, and uh, that's pretty much it that I have. Anything else from Council? Yes. Um, I think Tony uh, should offer free driving lessons to all residents. <laughs> <laughs> Have the police hand out your cards and say, contact him, he'll give you a lesson. I think Quad A is hiring. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, Mr. Troy? Public discussion? You're up again. Thank you, Sam Troy. I uh, wanted to address a few issues. I, first of all, uh, Mayor, uh, in response to your comments, if I may, um, I can't get here on Tuesday. I was busy trying to... Uh, attend a count you know certain Tuesdays I was, I was attending a county meeting I was trying to get inside I couldn't uh, because there's standing room only they don't let you in but um, so I think what compels you and, and the rest of council in order to be transparent and I, I think that's one I'm not saying this is all your fault but it, it, it's it, it's an egregious flaw and, it, and it's a hindrance to to uh, a full democratic sort of government, even on a local level, is the lack of transparency here in terms of what goes on. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you some examples. Uh, uh, you know, you're, you're saying, okay, I should be here on Tuesday to get all the details, but if you can't make it Tuesday, I think it's incumbent upon you or council or the city clerk or whoever to publish more details uh, regarding this thing so I wouldn't be in the dark. You know, the percentage, the, the breakdown uh, of this thing and, and to what specific areas it affects. I'm talking about the sewer project. Um, the public has a right to know. I mean, I, I, I'm sure I can get the information. I, you know, I just got some from you. But uh, again, you know, to, to say, well, you've got to attend the Tuesday meeting, you know, to get this information, I, I think that's absurd. Uh, I don't have a brief amount of time, so I want to address a couple important things. Now, I know you don't like to address specific people on council, and I, I'm not doing this to, to put anybody down, but I, I know Mr. Belusco is on the WVSA, correct? Um, I went, attended a meeting there last uh, spring or summer, I guess it was, and I, in, in, in a similar vein, you know, when I addressed the school board, I wanted to know the, the school, the uh, WVSA's financial position, which I was, which I inferred, I assume, was pretty strong. So I'm wondering if you can, can uh, if you feel any sort of empathy for the taxpayer, to try, I try to get them to est either establish a fund to, to, to uh, help people, especially people in need in this city, and there are plenty of them, or any, people anywhere who tie into the WVSA, to create some ta relief from this bloody, uh, rain tax, which is which is just strangling people. It, I mean, in, in addition to the to all the other uh, financial burdens that we that we have to bear. If you have emp any empathy for the taxpayer, and I I know I can go to the meeting and bring this up, but you as a board member probably have a lot more leverage than I do to try to get the to WVSA to either establish a fund that people people in need, economically disadvantaged, can draw on to pay this sort of tax, or to get them to lower the tax, which they could. Because the way, I, and I didn't realize this until I attended that meeting or I talked to, to uh, Sam Gusto afterward, and the mayor will vouch for this, right? There, there's a certain amount of money that's given back to the city. All the, all the municipalities that tie into WVSA get a certain amount of money back. For, is I, am I right about that? For sewer maintenance. And I saw on the revenue side of the budget that the, the, the sum has increased like seventy or $90,000. So uh, 
To me, what that says is, and, and we still have a sword tax, $50 a year. Why do we need the sword tax, and why do we have to endure this rain tax if there's that much money coming back to the city for the sewer maintenance? And, and uh, we have already a $50 fee, so either the $50 fee should be eliminated or the sword tax should be, uh, the uh, rain tax from, from the WVSA should be reduced or at least create some kind of fund from their strong financial position that people can draw on to relieve their burden. Now, I want to address in the time remaining, I don't know if you can answer that, Mike. I'm sorry, I don't mean to single you out, but you're no, the- No, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, but Mayor, uh, regarding, I would, I would like some, I only have a minute left, and maybe, unless you want to grant me, or Mr. Bar Barrett can grant me an extra time. The Sterling Project, Mayor, we have reached a crossroads there, evidently. I wonder if you can tell the public outright, uh, if you can reveal, first of all, Mr. Baruch, who has come before the county demanding, with a gun to their head, trying to extort money for which he promised when this thing first uh, w w the, the land was first sold five years ago he promised it, it's, I don't know if it was he himself but whoever was in, uh, involved was Mr. Stiller whoever uh, that they wouldn't need public financing now he demanded five million from the county and it seems like uh, he's only getting three but he's still going to need another three or five million so I'm wondering Mr. Mayor if you can commit or if anybody on council knows this which I doubt uh, the ARP money that's left, if you can fill us in as to what the balance is there, first of all, and if you plan on using that money or some money from the general revenue to assist Mr. Brooke to get this project started. And I would be against that sort of thing. To, to, I'm not against the project itself, but I'm against that sort of financing. So my time is up. I'll observe the limitations. I hope I can get a straight answer on that from Mr. Belusco or the mayor. Appreciate your consideration. Anybody care to respond? I'd like to, I'd like to yeah. make a comment. Uh, Sammy, the city cannot use that money uh, that they're allotted um, for so sewer maintenance. They can or can't? Can't. That's what I... Sewer maintenance, only storm water. So if they put like a rain garden in or something like that, they could use that money. If they have to do a repair on a catch basin or clean a catch basin, they could use the money for that. Uh, some degree, they could even use it for street sweeping because it's storm water related. Uh, but. And, and as far as how much money they have, I know the last quarter, every year, it's the same thing. We have to watch every penny we spent. I mean, really watch it. Uh, because that 1440 I think, a quarter for that you pay, I pay, and probably everybody here pays, uh, that's at the minimum. They got that down as low as it can be. Uh, so got as that far down as that, what? they have that fee down as low as they can. It's I about $5. It comes down to about $5 a month, I think. That would be right. Um, Fifty-eight dollars a well. That's with the sewer fee. That's I mean with the sewer connection. It's about twenty dollars a quarter. Isn't it? No, the it's fourteen forty. You'll be paying fourteen forty, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's you know that's 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 as low as they can get it. And I wish they could. I wish they could. I wish they could do disabled veterans. You know, um, a, a, a dollar limit on the uh, income. Uh, do something like that. But I know they won't, and they can't. It was it was a way. Anyone else? Good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. you won't sir. say anything, Mayor, about that. Thank you, Sam. Okay. Okay. Need a motion. Motion. Thank you, sir. We are adjourned. Is it the today? Yeah.